under construction we're still trying to finish everything out putting in a fresh water section in the back of the ponds and new tanks for sale currently being built out our front area as well as this fish system right here still needs to be finished you guys are like soft open right now right yes definitely a soft opening we're going to do a grand opening hopefully in a month or two once everything is done yeah i'm very excited about it that but sounds like fun. this is our 240 made by custom aquarium it uh is our sps tank or one of them it currently has a zebra eel and a freckle face tank just became available and I absolutely love them. love them. Love these. Which one's your favorite coral in this tank? Probably this colony right here. It just started growing out and attaching to the rock, so it should be coloring up soon. And it just looks like it's going to have some very crazy color variations. I love them all, bro. SPS, your thing? Yes. You like the SPS? SPS is my thing. SPS is my thing too, except I can't keep them. <laughs> uh, I've been keeping SPS for a little over 10 years. 10 years? Wow, yeah. that's pretty impressive. Thank you. Thank tank you. is just gorgeous. It. Yeah, this is our anemone tank. This is a 67 gallon red sea tank. These are our rainbow bubble tips. There are snowflake rainbow bubble tips. There are blood red rose bubble anemones. Green bubble tip anemones. You know, I actually hate anemones. <laughs> they scare me. They always move around. Yeah. Um, but these, these. These make me kind of want to get one. Start like an anemone tank. Yeah, this that's just so gorgeous. That's one thing that was the idea here. I like tanks that only have anemones in it. They can move however much they want. They can split how much they want. As long as they're the same kind, you won't have to worry about chemical warfare. I mean, this tank is just gorgeous. Love it. Can I just buy as it? Home. <laughs> uh, I like the bill. <laughs> There's 30 anemones in there or more, so... 30? Yes. Wow, that is so impressive. This is actually our eel tank right now, or our aggressive eel tank. tank. We currently have two zebra eels, a yellow-headed fimbriated moray eel, a Japanese eel that I can never pronounce or remember the name. Can you try? Uh, I wish I could remember yeah. or pronounce it. I can't remember it. Okay. Yeah, all these eels, we've actually been hand-feeding them. <laughs> So we're gonna feed this eel? Yeah, we are. Yeah, Is it gonna chop off my finger? Week. No. So what do I do? How do I feed this eel? <laughs> are we feeding? Silver side. Aww. Be sure to have plenty sticking out so they can grab it and they don't pull the grabbers. Oh my gosh, he ate it. Mm -hmm. Can you not, do they not get the ones that are falling? No, you have to be holding it. They might sometimes, but it'll take them a minute oh. to find them. Oh. Ooh, it's good. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 it's a- Oh my gosh. They're strong. Yes, they are. This is our reverse buff wrap made by Planet Aquarium. It's one of my personal favorite tanks because as of right now, Planet Aquariums has only manufactured two and I managed to get lucky enough to secure one. the biggest synphelia I've personally ever seen. I mean, this thing is just crazy. The coloration is beautiful. Here is our master scully that's also a UFO. And then here is my favorite chalice. Oh. Yeah, the color on it is just oh. orange interstellars as well as yellow interstellar. A type of rainbow bounce, but it just has not decided to bounce yet. Uh. The nicest lobo I've ever seen. Not a fan of lobos because I just feel like they never color up real nice. This is actually an orange tip Australian elegance. Very rare. This is an orange hammer. Mm. It doesn't quite look orange in the light, but it is an mm. orange hammer variation. Very, very hard to find. Love it. This place is huge. 3,200 square feet, but this is only half of the store up front. This is the 325, which currently has the colonies that I have personally been keeping. I think the oldest one in here is probably like nine years old. A lot of these were grown from just little itty bitty frags whenever I was collecting them. Goals. Two Niles Quantum 220s, as well as two eShops 300. I just wanted to do something a little different, and I figured this big of a tank, let's just go double with everything. So I went with two high-end skimmers, two sumps, two return pumps, really two of everything. Four MP40s, four MP60s. 
<laughs> our little cube that we're setting up for anemones as well. It's our first floor section is being built out. It is the most under construction right now. Half of that back room is also going to be fresh water. About three, four hundred pounds of live rock in it at one time. 22, 29 gallon tanks right now that we keep all of our smaller fish in. This is our 70 gallon fish system. It's our 300 gallon stackable system. Four 25 gallon tanks stocking multiple different kinds of anemones that need to be a little bit separated. This tank. 450 gallon tank going to be our SPS tank as well. 1400 pounds and me and one other person actually put this tank on the stand. Yeah. It was nerve wracking. Two people, me and one other person, put all these tanks on their stands. This right here is going to be our seahorse tank. Beautiful front desk. Absolutely love the seahorse wood look. I it's wasn't, really nice touch. I wasn't, this is the best part of the shop. We're gonna have 16,000 gallons worth of fish tanks once everything is said and done. Possibly more. These two frog tanks up front, they just got set up. These are gonna be our SPS tanks. One is gonna have only colonies and one is gonna have only frags. So we should have quite the selection of SPS here. This right here is going to be our LPS frag tank, as well as this right here. We're gonna eventually have it where only colonies are in one tank and only frags are in the other. More tanks up here too. Yes, this is the other side of the 70 gallon fish system. We're having just different coral in here that we would like to grow out. Why not? These are two more of our frag tanks. These are gonna be for softies or stuff that's really flowy like euphelia. Also all of our zoanthids are gonna be going in one of these frag tanks as well. <laughs> Bubble one, bubble tip. So acid water, rainbow bubble tip. I don't know NEM, so I'm kind of proud of myself that I just could slightly identify that. I mean, the tips have bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Do I know my stuff? Yeah, yeah. I know my stuff. Yeah. Well, teach me how to identify NEMs. You know how to identify NEMs? Well, yeah. see, when the tip has bubbles, it's, it's a, a bubble, bubble tip. tip. And when the bubble tip is red, it's a red bubble tip. A red bubble tip. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Yeah, okay. We got orange. Out. Bubble tip? That's a rainbow. A rainbow, oh, okay. Rainbow. Ooh! Ooh! It's pretty. New corals? Mm -hmm. New corals! You just like the sticks, don't you? I do. I do. I love my acros. You like the sticks? The acros. How did you get started with the acros? Uh, I bought one. You bought one? I and bought it, one. did it live? Yeah. Nice. Is that a shock? Yeah, it kind of is considering I can't keep SPS for anything. I mean, I haven't SPS. tried, but like still, I'm scared of them. There are my first SPS. It was a brown Basilopora, stayed brown the whole time I had it, but it lived. Um, yeah, but that's not. It might have just been uh, not a winner, per se. I don't know. <laughs> like... Brown, and it just stayed brown the whole time, no matter what I did. And it even grew brown so so when that escapes like turns brown so your coral wasn't really brown you just kind of uh, well, half killed it look at look at that sassy little tail swing in there that is a sassy eel sassy eel <laughs> do you want to pick it up yeah. Hold it. yeah. No, it'll bite your finger off. It'll bite your finger off. Oh. <gasps> pop and drop. What are your thoughts on pop and drop? Oh, you're gonna hate me. You don't QT. That's, that's not pop and dropping though. Pop and dropping is cutting the bag open and putting it in. Okay, okay. Maybe I'm not that ruthless. Yeah, that's why I was like, I I'm not that. that. You, this is the yeah. QT yeah, area. This is our QT area. We actually take all of our fish in. We QT them for a couple of weeks just to make sure they're okay in our corals. That way, if we have any issue care of it, and then ensure that all the corals and livestock we're providing for people are a safe buy. Yeah. Got a QT, right? Got a QT. Uh, no. <laughs> What do we know? What, what is Mysis again? We all know nothing. We all know nothing. I know nothing. We need to stop. We need to stop making educational I'm videos. Just, I'm Thank you.